Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today, we're looking at the Micro Machines Series 1, number 3 set, released in 2022. In this pack, we have two licensed vehicles. First is a 2009 Corvette Stingray Concept, and also we have a Bugatti, which looks amazing. I love the colors on here, and the molds look very cool as well. So enough of me talking, if you're new to my channel, what I like to do with Micro Machines is look at the box, then we'll take a look at each one of these little cars, look at the paint, the mold, compare it to some other vehicles, and then we'll be done. So let's get started. All right, looking at the box, we have our logo Micro Machines, Chevrolet and Bugatti right there. Looking down, our two cars and our blister looking sick. Oh, we have Series 1 and number 3 on the side. And I love the art on here too, really neat. On the back we have our main logo, and also the scan me. Now use your phone, do that, and you could get some checklist. And then of course we have our copyright crap. All in all, a pretty nice little box. So now let's crack it open. First up we have the 2009 Corvette Stingray Concept. This car is really neat. For its paint, it has about four different colors. We have blue, glossy black, red, and silver. And I think they did a decent job. The red's a little iffy on the back, as you can see right there. But the rest of the car looks great, and I love the designs and the molding. We're going to look at all this a little closer in just a few moments. But I do have to say, for the size, it comes in a tad over one and a quarter inches, or just over three centimeters long. I have to admit, we don't really have too many bright blue cars in the collection, so this is a welcome addition. Alright, so let's have a closer look at this bad boy. As we can see, it's not really smooth. We have a lot of panel lines for the doors. You can see the wheels. Everything has these beautiful curves, very aerodynamic, if you will. On the other side, we could also see the same panel lines, which look really good. I actually enjoy the shape of this car very much. I'm not really an automotive dude, but this is sick. In the back, I love the shape here. We could see the four exhaust pipes in the back, the lights, sure the paint's a little messed up on the right hand side, but it's not too bad. We could see the beautiful windows and look at the hood. Nicely done, we got the silver paint on there in the black, looking very sharp, in my opinion anyway. And then for the underneath, we have our copyright crap. Made in China, Hasbro, Jazzwares, all the normal stuff. All in all, a nice looking car, but does it roll? Yes, it does. Up next, we have the Bugatti Veyron, which is a really cool looking car. For its paint, it has five colors, silver, white, red, chrome, and the main color is a very dark tan, almost gray. And you can see what I'm talking about when the light hits it. It's a very unique color. Besides that, for its size, it's just over one and a quarter inches, or a tad over three centimeters long. I really enjoy the shape here, but as you can see in the front, the paint's a little off on the hood, and also the left-hand side headlight. So it's a little shame, but the mold here is fantastic in my opinion. I really like the engine in the back, the lights, everything to me looks cool. Uh, these type of vehicles are ones I gravitate to, so to have this and see the beautiful molding on there is really cool. So enough of me yapping, let's get a closer look. Having a closer look at this car, I have to say the sides look amazing. I love the panel lines for the door. We have our handles, the wheels spin and are painted that beautiful chrome. Oh, just look at the other side. I love the curve on the side of the body, looking sharp. And the windows are slightly recessed in. That's great. In the aft section, or the back of the car, we have our engine, which looks amazing. Coming down, we have our tail lights. Everything looks great. 
I really like this quite a bit. The molding on here is pretty awesome. Then we have our hood and front windshield. And you can see the molding looks phenomenal. It's just the paint's a little off here, which they're cheap enough that I can get another one, but it is what it is for the moment. But other than the paint, I just love the front of this thing and the sides. Actually, the whole car is really cool. Underneath, we have our copyright crap as always, and the wheels do spin, but does it roll? Let's find out. The answer is yes. And now for a quick size comparison with our two new vehicles today. On the far left hand side, we'll start with the yellow 1950 Chevrolet Bel Air wagon, which is pretty cool. And next to that, we have our orange 2019 BMW M6 Cabrio. All these vehicles I previously reviewed on my channel and they look sick. For another size comparison with our two new vehicles today, on the left we have the black private jet which came with the Transformers Micro Machines blind boxes. Another great piece. And now for our last size comparison, here we have the whole Series 1 wave thus far that I have reviewed. And as you can see, they are very colorful and very unique. And I love these quite a bit. I especially love the 1950s Cadillac on the far right. That one still is cool. But the new one today, the Corvette, mmm, love that Stingray. If you're interested in seeing reviews of any of these cars I showed today, check the links in the description below. And that does it today for my review of the Micro Machines Series 1 number 3 set released in 2022. In short, this set is really neat. I particularly like the mold on both vehicles. I prefer the molding on the Stinray concept. I don't know, there's just something about that design that speaks to me. The Bugatti on the other hand is also very cool. I love the side panels on here, and also the back of the car with the engine. Oh, that looks so sick. Now, when it comes to paint, the Stinray does have a little issue in the back tail light, and for the Bugatti, it does have a big paint mishap on the hood and also the left headlight. So if you're in Target or Walmart and you spot these in the wild, make sure to have a good close look through that plastic. I guess when I was buying these, one, I was in shock that I found the whole wave, but two, you know, the plastic does alter your perception a little bit. Call it the plastic cloak and field, if you will. So just take your time when you get these off the peg and have a good look. Besides those little paint mishaps though, I'm really excited to have these in my collection. I really love the shapes here and everything that the new Micro Machines have to offer. And as we saw when they were all together with their counterparts in the other two sets, they look very colorful. And that's what I love, to see different cars with different shapes and colors. To me, that's awesome. So before I go, I do want to ask you at home, the viewer, a question. How do you like the new Micro Machines? Do they stand up to the old ones? Which do you prefer? And if you're an old time collector like myself, are you glad to see Micro Machines back making wave after wave of different vehicles? I really want to know your opinion. Let me know in the comments below. And that's everything I have to say about these two awesome cars today. They may not be painted perfect, but they're still cool in their own way. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you like to see new videos every week, subscribe. As always, again to all of you at home who are taking time out of your busy schedule to watch my work, I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye everybody!